I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, just coming in today. Today's gonna be kind of short because I'm still I'm still very tired from the weekend. Uh, whenever I do one of these courses, uh, it really it really uh, it really takes a number on me. So I'm still kind of tired. And on top of that, I have to go uh, I have to go to a restaurant after this. Uh, one of my friends owns a restaurant, and his um, his uh, griddle oven is giving him problems. So uh, they close at nine, and he want me to come over and fix his oven for him. So I'm gonna go over and fix his oven for him tonight when they close. And that's the thing I tell you all about doing commercial stuff. You know, commercial stuff you uh, you have to do it when they close. It went out. Uh, he found out this morning about ten o'clock. Uh, so I went over. I got half of the griddle working for him, but we're gonna have to take it apart. And uh, with that, uh, they they just they just suffered through for the for today. Why not go there tonight and uh, and take it apart and get it up and running for them? But that's why I, I, I say about commercial appliances. Uh, commercial appliances, uh, you working early in the morning or late at night fixing stuff for people. But once again, I want to thank everybody uh, for tuning in. I want to thank the, uh, the the young men that came up this past weekend for appliance boot camp. I want to thank uh, the alumni that called and talked to them. The alumni. They stop by and see them. I want to uh, thank everybody for that. Uh, the price is going up. Uh, I have <laughs> you got a few more hours to get in and, and get that price. I haven't switched it over quite yet. Um, uh, that'll be getting switched over um, in the next day or so. So if you're getting in, you better go. Because uh, like I said today, I was just tired, and um, I, I had two things. I had my my friend restaurant, and also um, I have another guy that. Uh, has a laundromat uh, that, uh, that wants me. I got to go over and we got to repair his laundromat for him. And uh, that's what uh, uh, the, the show of today is because uh, that's what I've been doing all day today. I've been uh, I've been uh, kind of doing their stuff and I'm fixing some stuff over in the ice cream parlor. And like I say, that's what I talk about. I talk about whatever my day is going about, uh, whatever I'm doing 10 or 15 minutes before I pop in on you all. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what uh, that's what I'm talking about today. Um, appliance repair allow you to run with the big dogs. Uh, today, uh, I have I have one of the uh, I know him, but I don't know him as personal as I know uh, a, a mutual acquaintance we have. Um, one of the uh, guys that uh, was my mentor when I first got into appliance repair uh, 20 some years ago. He owns an appliance repair business up in Raleigh called Appliance Service Center. He's, he had the GE Service Center. So I've done a lot of work with him. Um, and um, and he's an older guy. And one of his friends uh, called, he, he, gave, he told his friend to call me. He has a laundromat that's uh, right across town in Smithfield. And uh, this past weekend, he had people go in and vandalize it. And they went in and, and tried to get the change and stuff off the washing machines. And uh, and dryers, it, it like it like somebody put dynamite in there and exploded. The way they beat them up and, and ripped the panels and stuff off. And um, and I, I I go I went there today to meet him and he he was, he was just distraught and he he's like eighty some years old and uh, he just told me he said man I'm tired of it. He, he said he's at the point now he he said he he uh he's tired of dealing with it. So he want me to fix all of them. And then he asked me would I be willing to buy, buy his uh, laundromat. And it's a laundromat and a car wash uh, together. And he asked me would I be willing to buy it from him. <laughs> and I, uh, the first thing that went through my mind, I think, uh, I think about uh, 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 the guy over in Wisconsin. Uh, uh, for, uh, I think Ben's Applause brother uh, over there who, who has like the laundromat and the car wash. And I'm like, man, yeah, here, here go my chance. <laughs> <laughs> to actually uh, get me a laundromat and a car wash. He, he, he wanted to sell me um, the, the whole property and the business and everything in it. Uh, uh, car wash, is, uh, they don't buy, no, he don't have any problems with the car wash. Um, but uh, with the with the laundry center, this is like his third time somebody has came in and hit him. Uh, they, cut the, they cut the cameras. They, they, he put cameras in. They cut the cameras out the ceiling and stuff and, uh, and, and took those with him. And uh, so he, he just told me, he said, uh, uh, just buy me out. 
uh, the property is worth four hundred and sixty thousand, I think, and he was willing to take like, uh, uh, like, uh, like four hundred. Um, and I was like, nah. I, I thought about it, but uh, I was like, nah. I got too much I need to do. I just got, just got bid for almost four hundred thousand dollars to repair uh, the, one of the commercial buildings. I got another eighty thousand. I got put into my building. <laughs> I was like, if I do that, and now um, I'll. I'll I really have to be sleeping in one of those uh, commercial buildings. I told him, nah, I, I, I wouldn't do that. And then he just told me, uh, how about you just fix everything up? And uh, and then you, uh, if, I, we could do it two ways. I can fix everything. And uh, he paid me for fixing everything. Or I fix everything. And then from there, uh, I just, what's we call? I just, uh, I'll run the laundromat and I take it over the laundromat and the car wash. And uh, he, uh, he what you can give me uh uh oh god <laughs> yeah I, I see you slick i forgot slick tell me let me know uh local people are watching <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> so what happened uh he, he i i don't i don't quite care about this i, I think i'm made up my mom but yeah he, he wanted me just to uh fix everything get it up and running and then just give him uh give, give him three thousand a month uh, uh for for uh for, for leasing the property. Um, at his heyday, um, that property, he, he, he told me he done uh, six to 7,000 a month out of there. Um, so, and he was willing to show his financials with me uh, and show me everything. He, he was just tired and he was ready to get out of it. Uh, so um, I told him I'll I, I think about that uh, once I uh, get the prices on uh, fixing everything. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the washers that's not too bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna take two and make one, uh, all on the same brand. So I'm gonna take two and make one. And if uh if the, if, if it looks if it seems to be good, then I, I might take that. I might take that move. Just give him uh give him do it for a little bit. Maybe sign a six months or one year lease. Just say okay, I give you three, uh, uh three thousand out of uh and uh, see if I can get it back to what his heyday was. Uh, but uh, that's that's what I'm doing there, and then uh, I like I said I got to go fix my friend restaurant, and that's what that's what appliance repair does. Appliance repair puts you in proximity of all these other people, um, and all these other people who who's willing to make deals, and it, it sets you right in the middle, where uh, where uh, you have all this stuff uh come through, uh, come through, and you have you, you it, it gives you some cash, so you can make decisions and and be able to do these things. Um, I was thinking earlier today, and I saw the, I saw the, uh, I've been looking at the plans and all that stuff coming through, um, uh, for the, the property and stuff that we're repairing. And, um, uh, I, I was thinking, you know, because of appliance repair, uh, those numbers, uh, didn't, uh, didn't scare me at, uh, didn't scare me at all because I know, uh, with appliance repair, I, I can make it happen. Uh, because of appliance repair, um, uh, it has given me, um the ability to create a lot of passive income you know i don't have a huge large sum of money <laughs> sitting around here anymore but i do have passive income coming in um, every month and i also have um paid off properties and assets so i got collateral if i ever needed to really go get some money so uh so it, it applies repair has been very good and it can be like that for anybody who wants to get into appliance repair um, I'm hearing a lot of people now talking about um, things going to get really bad. Um, the winter is coming, that the economy is going to crash. I know now uh, they're talking about putting masks or even uh, putting, they might have to wear masks again or you're going to have to uh, go back into lockdown. And uh, I can't tell if things are getting bad. Matter of fact, uh, uh, my business, business in the past repair is just picking up, it's blowing up uh, to the point of, uh, like I say, like I I got I, I gotta go tonight and, and fix my friend's um, um, oven because he can't find anybody to do it. Everybody's telling him. It, it, uh, uh, I think the guys that they he normally call uh, two to three weeks out. Um, I, I had a another matter of fact. I went and I looked at another restaurant for uh, for one of the uh, one of the uh, the groups right down the street that owns a lot of property. They have somebody getting rent out one of their restaurants. So I went in and I'm going to look at that, their stuff. They want me to give them a bid on repairing 
doing some preventive maintenance to their stuff. So, uh, and and right now, uh, appliance repair, we're booked out uh, two or three days uh, constantly, sometimes a week. Um, and, and things are just good. <laughs> things are good. So, uh, I, 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 people saying that the economy is going to get bad and stuff, but like, like I've told you all in the past, all the way I know the economy is getting bad, I have to come on YouTube now because I don't look at the news. I have to come on YouTube and I, I, I listen to uh, the YouTubers uh, talking about uh, what they say now, winter is coming. Everybody keeps saying winter is coming. And I'm looking around and I'm like, uh, where is that? When, uh, when I got, right, I'm not talking to you all, I'm not talking to the alumni. And uh, the alumni are talking about uh, putting, they get money they want to go invest and do stuff with. So I wonder where, all this, where winter is coming. Uh, because everybody keeps telling us it's coming, and I'm, I'm looking out and I said, uh, where is that? Because it, uh, it, it's getting a lot better for me. It's getting a lot better for me. This weekend, I get to drop my daughter off at college, and uh, I don't have any worries uh, about how I'm going to pay the college tuition bill or anything. Uh, so uh, this day where everybody's saying that winter is coming, maybe it is. Uh, uh, but, uh, you all out there doing a philosophy pit, do you? Do y'all think winter is coming? That time is getting bad, or is time doing good for you all? Cause I, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see, it. I don't, I don't, I just don't see it getting bad. I, uh, uh, it's, it's getting, it's getting, getting a lot better for me, a lot better, a lot easier to the point where I can. Uh, you got so many options right now in appliance repair that you, uh, you didn't have, you didn't have in, in uh, 15, 20 years ago. You know. Uh, I, I, I could I can do just a, a, a I can do a, just appliance repair. Uh, I can I can do refrigeration. <laughs> you can do commercial. You can, there's just so much stuff you can do. Um, and 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 it just it's just it's just so wide open. And I just don't see where everybody's saying that the economy is getting bad. Uh, I don't know if, if that's something they do to um, maybe to to uh, strike emotion in, in people. Who's watching and, and stuff? But uh, I just don't see it getting. I, I, well, I, I, can, I can honestly say, in the last 20 years, um, uh, I have not, I have not had, uh, I have not had a bad time in the plant repair in the last 20 years since I've been since I've been doing it on my own. I never had a bad time in the plant repair, um, and I, I don't know. Okay, I'll read some. Uh, I'm gonna read some of these. Uh, what we got going on right here? Cause I gotta get out of here. I gotta go do my friends. Uh, uh, what's it called? Do my friends that go on uh, restaurant. Salute to Grandmaster Mike and ABC Fam. Hey, how you doing? I'm tired still too. Rose Nuza, hey, what's going on? Hey, now, Dr. Funk, what's up? All right. Uh, what's good, ABC fam? Hey, BK from the Rockies. All right. Lamar, evening fam, what's happening? Uh, 89, Dr. Funk, they got some networking going on. Marcus, hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing, ABC? Uh, Lamar, okay, they saving the world. They networking. Uh, hey, Mike and ABC fam, how you doing? Scapallo, salute, Mr. Speed. What's up, ABC? Big things coming in the fourth quarter. Let's go. There you go. Yeah, fourth quarter is going to be really good. Uh, TAC Applied Services. What's up, Mike and ABC fam? Hey, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Mechanical, what's up, Mike? Hey, what's happening? Uh, Quinn Hodge, sounds like a good first investment for the ABC extension. <laughs> uh, that's what some people said, but I... I like I said, we're gonna have a town hall in about two weeks, and from there, uh, everybody gets to decide what uh, you know. Throw stuff in. So I've been getting some great people been bringing some great ideas forward, and um, it's not me. It's uh, everybody wants to. Uh, what everybody decides they want to do, that's something we could do. Um, Capello's appliance repair. When the economy goes bad, our business goes up. Yeah, no doubt. All right, what's up? Uh, uh, Moon Goddess 777. All right. Appliance Check. Hey, Mike, thanks for the excellent training and business information. Thanks, man. Uh, Mr. Appliance Check, he uh, he uh, he attended the actual 
Alphonse Group Captain's past weekend. He's retired. He he took early retirement and uh, he's living the life I want to live in about two years. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. With that, uh, I'm not going to read that one. Uh, but I, I will say this right here. Uh, applying for care is very forgiving. Um, if, uh, if, 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 if you know me, uh, probably maybe 15, 20 years ago, when I first got into appliance repair, um, we what we call we had uh, we had one of our subs that was actually putting on the wrong uh, water putting on the wrong water lines for dishwashing, and I ended up flooding a bunch of kitchens and stuff like that. Um, but I went back and made all of it right. Um, we if you if you watch appliance repair, you might have seen several young, several people might have came in and done things. Um, and had some issues at the very beginning, but later on, they were able to clean it up and make things right. Um, appliance repair is one of those businesses that will allow people to make things right. Um, if he goes back, um, whoever that is, and do right by his customers and stand by them, his customers will come back and they'll praise him. Um, it's not one of these things where you uh, where it throws you away. Uh, it's very, very similar to uh, uh, the richest man in Babylon where the richest man in Babylon, where the guy owed everybody, and, and then he became an honorable guy, went back and paid everybody back and done right by everybody. But that's the same thing that uh, he can do, um, the guy. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't throw people under the bus uh, when they first starting off and they, they get a couple of bad hits. Uh, sometimes it takes people a little longer to mature, but if they, uh, uh, they need to, if whatever he's doing, he go back and make it right. He'll be good, um, and we you know uh, we we saw earlier this past year with somebody, one a young man who who who's trying to do things, um, and got a little bit ahead of himself. He had some issues, uh, but he kept his head up, and um, if he keep going right, he can, he can get himself right again. Because uh, like I say, if you would if you would looked at my reviews, uh, uh, probably 15, 20 years ago, you probably said the same thing about me. Because I was trying to figure a uh, business out at the same time, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show this right here. I think I can show this right here. Um, yeah, I can show this. Uh, let me let me put this right here. There ain't nothing major going on with that. Let me let me. I'm gonna show y'all this. Um, Matter of fact, let me let me pull this right here, and you all, I'll put it in a uh, put it in a notepad real quick. But uh, what happens? Uh, this business, like I say, is very very forgiving, and you can come back and make it right. So um, the thing to do, uh, if you if you know someone like that, just reach out to them and uh, ask uh, see if you can help him uh, get his get this thing together. Um, rather than put them on blast, just might just need a little bit of coaching. That's it. All right. So I I, I didn't put the whole email. I'm gonna put this right here where you can see. And this is what I received uh, today. This is what I received today. I'm gonna share this screen with you all. Um, and like I said, if you saw me 15, 20 years ago. Uh, wouldn't nobody been saying this. They've been saying, uh, oh, get Mike Sneed away from here. Uh, let me see if I can make it bigger for you all. I think that might be uh, as big as I can get it. Uh, but anyway, uh, now I can't make it any bigger. I wish I could. Okay. Anyway, say congratulations. I'm so excited you've been selected this year for Johnston Now honors as the as our dynamic entrepreneur winner this is real not spam so what johnson now is it's a magazine it comes out throughout johnson county and they have where they put like the, the best the best burger joint you know those type of magazines so i wanted to i was hoping that i would get in <laughs> for best ice cream but uh i got in as the dynamic entrepreneur winner uh, this is real not spam uh there's no cost involved you're nominated 
somebody nominated me and I was chosen because of my merits and the work I've done in the great community. As an honoree, you will be presented with a award on stage with the opportunity to make a short acceptance speech like at the Oscars. Um, I have my, my story written up in the magazine, October magazines here to two dates. And this is where it's going to be at. Uh, the Clayton Center, that's big stuff right here. Uh, the Clayton Center, that's downtown, like our Civic Center. It's going to be October the 14th at 6.30 p.m. I get a VIP reception. My family and stuff can come. And I got. Uh, I get to do another photo shoot. So this will be, this will be the second time um, that I, I had a, a magazine to write an article about me and I get a photo shoot. But, uh, yeah, so uh, 15, 20 years ago, People have been saying, that dad go Mike Sneed, don't know what he's doing. He need to get out of business and this and that. And, but um, you, you stick with it and uh, you stick through the bad times, you, uh, you, 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 can, you can make those changes. Uh, so I hope, uh, I hope that happened with the guy to get it, to get, to get it going. All right, 66 uh, Reflection. What's up, ABC? Uh, I finally get to watch live. Okay. Uh, Mr. McCallum, if the economy is getting bad, I don't ever want it to get good. <laughs> I know. Uh, that, I, I, I've been listening to everybody right now. I think it's a key phase, uh, a key word going on right now um, uh, where everybody said, uh, uh, what's it called? Winter is coming. And uh, I think it scares people and uh, make people move and stuff. But uh, I, I can't tell winter is coming. Uh, uh, winter, if winter is coming, I hope it stays this way and it is booming. And matter of fact, even, even today, uh, I walked in for a little bit. I'll, uh, we'll do some work at the ice cream parlor. I need to set up our actual, uh, where I, where they take the orders and stuff. So it, I'm, 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 I'm wiring up so they can actually see it on the, on the TV in the back. Uh, but I walk in and, and just because I'm sit, uh, standing out there and I'm talking on the phone to one of those alumni, I got seven people walk up. Hey, uh, y'all open, y'all open. So I end up having to open the ice cream, uh, place. Okay, there you go. Uh, there you go, Scapello. There you go. Okay, there you go. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, see that uh, problems with home warranty company. There you go. Uh, hey, Mike, I need to talk to you this Wednesday. I tried to call you last Wednesday. I, Wednesday, I think you were on vacation. Yeah, I was on vacation two uh, two weekends two weeks ago. But yeah, if you call that number nine one nine three seven three five five two six, call between one and four. Um, I'll pick up. And if I if I don't pick up right then and there, usually I have two or three people be calling at the same time. If you uh, if you call uh, back, if you try back, I, I'll pick up. But we, uh, we have it, it, the line does get pretty busy. All right. Um, good evening. What's up, picture man? 63, 63 and Paula Rag. Do hey man, how you doing? I haven't uh, uh, I haven't uh, seen you in a while. Um, what's up, Mike? Winter isn't coming from the businessman. <laughs> That's for the workers. It's almost uh, stole season. Let's get it. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, uh, uh, 65 Rag, uh, 63 and Paula Rag, dude? Um, uh, are, are you up and running? Hey, what's going on, Terry, the electrician? All right. All right, they networking. Um, what's a good study guide for the EPA license? I don't know. I haven't taken it. I, I took that thing almost 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. Uh, but it's open book, uh, if I recall. So um, maybe somebody can tell you. But I think it's open book. Okay. All right. Terry, having some fun. But yeah, 63 and Paula Rag, do I, uh, are you up and running now with your appliance repair? Um, I, I I need to go back and check your channel up and see if too if you if you get that uh, car running too. Um, my my truck is. Just about done. We uh we got to we got to get some uh, custom mufflers. We got the mufflers. What we got now? Uh, I think right now uh uh I think right now we got mufflers left. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, get the mufflers on there and we'll be done. Uh, hey Mike, you take calls from non alumni? Yes. Uh, call this number. Anybody can call this number Wednesday between one and four. Um, and if you got any questions about uh, Applies Boot Camp, um, I can uh, answer those questions there. Uh, this Thursday coming up, uh, this Thursday I'll be announcing the new prices. I'll be also announcing the plan, how you can, uh, how you can, uh, uh, 
how you could actually get with uh, alumni and get a discount and get discounts to give you uh, uh give you uh your discount come in. So I'll be na announcing a new payment plan on uh, ways that the alumni can actually make some money uh, because uh the people who are uh, who are coming a lot of times they're coming off of the strength of the alumni. The alum they know an alumni and they see how how uh, the alumni life has changed since they started their own business and uh that's what's bringing them in so um since you all are, are, are referring people and stuff um you i want you all to be able to um, get a bonding fee for bringing them in uh, um terry the electrician uh congratulations mike you actually deserve that honor and much much more <laughs> thanks appreciate it yeah uh it, it's, it's it's a it's a good feeling and uh when, when that comes when stuff like that happens but then sometimes you start to feel uh you start to feel a little bit embarrassed about when people start uh i so i so used to people uh uh having to defend it defend yourself as an entrepreneur that sometimes when people do start to give you the accolades and stuff you feel a little bit embarrassed about it um, i do feel a little bit embarrassed about it uh that uh uh that, I, I, that they're honoring me and, and whatnot. You do start to feel a little bit embarrassed. Uh, so, but uh, I'm glad uh, to accept it. So uh, I, I will be there, and maybe I can. Uh, I'm all looking for. I'll be able to do it um, and, and and bring you all along and, and, and take it also. Okay, this an instructor will help you pass EPA test. Okay. All right, 63 and Paula Rag uh, do. I've been up and running for a while. I do it part time. I do handyman work and car customizations too. Good to have a client prepared under my belt. I only like COD work. Okay, that's good. All right. James uh, Barron. Hey, Mike, I've taken the online course. Is the hands on the same price if you have gotten the online course? Uh, no. Right now, if you're taking the um, online course and you want to come to the hands on, you just pay the difference, uh, the difference in the price. So if you pay, uh, if, uh, whatever you pay for the online course right now, if you want to take the hands on, you just pay the difference. You just subtract that from 50, subtract 50, subtract that from 1500. That's what you need to pay to come to the online. So if you pay, um, if you pay the, uh, 850 and then you'd be looking at another 850, uh, not excuse me, you paid 850, you'd be looking at, uh, uh, seven, uh, uh, my math, 650. You'd be looking at the 650. If you paid, uh, uh, I guess uh, the 1200 uh, then you'd be looking at uh, uh, $300. So. Um, but once again, uh, like I said, I got to go meet my friend to actually uh, fix his, uh, um, his oven. Um, I might go, I might go live there, um, depending on, um, uh, is in his kitchen, um, at, his, at his restaurant. Uh, I'll see if I can clear it with him for first. If I can go live, I might just pick back up. Uh, and go live there a, uh, a little. Uh, once I get there and get things going, I might pick up and go back live there. Uh, but I need to, I need to get there at nine o'clock so we can get done pretty early. So I think that's what I do. Once we get there and I get it figured out, um, I uh, and I start getting things back to running. I come back and go live there with you all, show you all what what we got going on, just uh, so you all can kind of see what uh, what goes on and if you're going to be doing commercial stuff. And also, uh, this week when we go down to do those washers and dryers, um, I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll make some videos there too. Um, so, um, I need, uh, let me check this out. Hey, what's going on, my apps? Uh, Ryan's DIY. Uh, what's up, Mike and ABC family? About to apply for my LLC, following the blueprint. Okay, good stuff. Uh, yeah, his car is running. I made a video of it. Check out my channel. Okay, I'm going to check it out on the way to the restaurant. Uh, once again, I gotta cut this one short uh, because I gotta go uh, help my friend fix his, uh, his, um, his grill at his restaurant. Um, I, I'm gonna try to pick back up live there if there's not nothing major, really major going on once I get there, uh, and I'll pick up live there. Um, and on Thursday, I'll be back, and I have all the pricing and all that stuff, uh, the new price uh, modules and all that stuff for Applies Bootcamp, and I'll be talking about uh, the the new course. The new course is the uh, ice cream pop. Uh, so we have another concert, um, a new, another concert this weekend down here. So uh, at that same time, I'll be at the concert and I'll be giving you all the new prices. And uh, I'll be talking about the new course, the ice cream. 
excuse me, ice cream parlor business. But uh, sorry, I gotta get out here a little, uh, a little early today. I'm gonna try to pick back up and go live. And um, and like always, thank you all for everything you've done. If you want to get into a Plums boot camp, there's a link in the description. Uh, winter is not coming for us. When winter comes, that's the range <laughs> cooking season, and that's where we go make our money. So once again, I want to thank everybody uh, uh, for, uh, for tuning in. Thank everybody for everything they've done, and I'll talk to you all later.